People always say, learn the lessons. Lessons are to be learned. And the reality is, is that people don't learn the lessons from history. Mm. And if you look back, all of the clues are there. That we've had pandemics for ages. I mean, if you take us all the way back to the Roman times and before that with the cavemen, mm. they've got examples of those sort of situations where there have been those mm. pandemics. Most recently, talk about the Black Death. Mm. The Black Death, 1346. What happened? It travelled from Asia to Europe. There's a pattern here on that sort of basis. Yeah. Uh, it ended in about half of Europe's population being wiped out, completely wiped wow. out. That, had, as a result, ended in uh, labour shortages. So the, the working conditions for workers got better because they were in uh, less, uh, less people being able to work. And it ended, actually, what it ended was serfdom. So the whole thing about serfdom beforehand in that sort of period of time mm. ended as a result of that sort of pandemic. We then also had, uh, several years later, within London, we had the Great Plague of London, 1665. Course, yes. Remember all of that? Uh, and there was a mass exodus from London led by King Charles II. Uh, and the plague started in April 1665 and it spread rapidly. What was really interesting is this is another example of the spread of misinformation. I always say it's like a war against the pandemic. So a war against the pandemic, the first casualty in any war is the truth. Now, what happened is it was put out by the mayor at that time. It was a guy called Sir John Lawrence. Sir John Lawrence was the mayor. Mm. And he thought that all the bubonic plague and the, the black plague was caused by dogs and cats. So he ordered the destruction of all the dogs and cats. And Daniel Defoe, in his journal, Journal of the Plague Years, he estimated that 40,000 dogs were slaughtered Aww. and 200,000 cats. Now, the crazy thing, the damage caused by that misinformation was that the real perpetrators of this were the rats who were carrying the fleas. And, of course, as a result of destroying the cats and, 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 and the dogs, then the rats increased the population, rats, so it yeah. got far worse. Isn't that interesting that, that you can almost see the same patterns emerging? I mean, history literally has been repeating itself and continues to. And you're absolutely right, but it's that interesting thing about misinformation. Mm. And so when people spread misinformation, and this is what happens, they say that the truth is always the sort of first casualty in this sort of situation. So always we need to question everything. Let's look at the science, let's make sure, because we're drowning in a sea of information, most of which is false. Mm. What you tend to find, and I always say, uh, you need to check all your different sources for everything. Mm. Get your news from many different sources. Now, of course, we have social media and that whole new world that we've never had to, to c c c contend with before, yeah. have we? And you're absolutely right. And what yeah. happens, Ellie, is this, is that people go to places to confirm their own prejudices. Mm. So whatever view, however distorted and bizarre it might be, you will find evidence yeah. to support it. You create your own echo chamber. Yeah, of course you, you do. We all do. Of course you do. It's absolutely fascinating. And of course, um, we had, you know, what I'm kind of looking forward to is with the Spanish flu in 1918, we had the roaring 20s afterwards. We're in 2022, we're going into 2022. Do you think there's a sign of that to come? Oh, there's a light that, at the end of the tunnel? It was, there's lots of light at the end of the tunnel. And this well, is the really good. positive thing. As long as we learn those lessons from history. Mm. So you mentioned the Spanish flu because that's another example. As you say, 1918. It was wrongly called, and we should set the record right, because we can end the year <laughs> in a positive basis. It was Spanish flu. Do you might remember at the beginning, we were labelling things. Like it was the, the Chinese virus. You remember yes. that sort of stuff? We, we then changed all the way over to Greek uh, letters, and they missed a few out along the way, which yeah. people got excited about. Um, it was wrongly called the Spanish flu. And the reason it was wrongly called was all because of the chap called King Alfonso XIII, who was the Spanish ruler at the time. Mm. He contracted it. But actually, this started in Kansas. We're going to set the record straight. Okay. It started in Kansas. Uh, so we could call it the Kansas cough, go for the alliteration. <laughs> uh, and, but what happened, uh, and then spread to France and Germany and the UK. But because coming out of the war, there were media restrictions, mm. um, a lot of those people wouldn't report the cases. Poor old King Alfonso the Thirteenth, because they didn't have those restrictions, it got widely reported that the king, on a daily basis, this is what he had, and here's how he's progressing. So as a result of it, it was called the Spanish flu. Well, we've learned something today, Andrew. I wasn't even aware of that. See? We're going to set the record Amazing. straight. I so love that it, should yeah. be. We're going to, Ellie, we're going to, this is our mission. We're <laughs> going to set the record straight to end the year. So no longer call it the Spanish flu. We can call it the Kansas cough. Kansas cough. Or the 1918 flu. The good thing about it, it does give us certain lessons mm. because it lasted, it naturally progressed. And it lasted about two or three years, which tends to be the normal mutation of these sort of things. And it then naturally died out. 
because it got weaker and weaker and weaker and, until effectively either people, the, the, the herd immunity that people spoke about, and effectively sort of disappeared. Mm. The great news is, is that after that terrible period and massive, massive casualties, 50 million died, 500 mm. million affected, it did, as you rightly say, lead into the roaring 20s, a mm. period of phenomenal growth and excitement. And we're going to get there.